Hey ham fam, thank you for joining me today. So I've just got back from work and this very large parcel arrived for me and I have no patience so I thought I would video me opening it for you guys this evening um, and see everything that I ordered. Now a few days ago I did quite a big order from Getzu so everything inside of here I got for Albus um, so that I can start to build his cage back up again. So I'm very excited to open this and see everything that's inside. Um, I kind of gave myself a little bit of a budget. So I had a budget of £100 and I actually managed to get quite a lot of stuff for that price. So um, I was really, really thrilled with everything that I managed to get. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy unboxing this with me as well. look inside of everything that I've got. All right, I'm going to pop this box down next to me and then I'm just going to get everything out one by one, I think. First of all, I cannot remember the names of any of these. I'm just going to say that now. So um, once I've filmed this and I'm editing, I will put the names of everything up on the screen here for you with the prices and stuff. So I'm not going to be able to tell you exactly what everything is, but just bear that in mind. So First of all, I ordered a load of different sprays just to restock. So I got three different packets. So I'm gonna get all of those out. I got the Pick and Fly, which is this one here. And this one here came with some millet spray. So there's a load of different kind of color variations that I've got here. These look really lovely. I love the sprays can just add like that extra bit of color into the cage um, and it can really kind of bring the whole natural look together. So I'm very excited to add a few more of these and then see what Albus thinks of them. So the next thing I ordered was a new wooden wheel and this is absolutely stunning i knew that they did like really nice wheels and i've seen other people that have been super happy with them but honestly like the photo doesn't even do this justice it's really nice i got the 30 centimeter one for albert just so he's got a nice big wheel um at the moment he has got the plastic trixie wheel but i'm not in love with it i don't really think it's that great it does it's fine i mean it works absolutely fine but I just wanted everything to tie together more with the natural theme. So I thought he would very much appreciate a new wooden wheel. Um, it's got the cork lining on the inside as well. Um, and any of the wood bits that I've got, I am gonna plaster coat them too. Um, and on the back here also, which is another thing I really loved about this wheel, you can move it up and down. Um, so that will help obviously fit it in with the amount of bedding that I add um, and I can move it so that it's going to sit nicely and still work and spin properly which is kind of the problem that I'm having at the moment with his current wheel. Next up I ordered a sunflower head so this I'm probably not going to give to Iroh. Um, I'll probably give him a few of the seeds but I don't think I will pop the whole thing in there for him to have a little nibble on but with Albus I can pop it in there for a while um, and let him have a few little bits, pick them off and then I'll take it out so this won't be left in there permanently um, but I really really wanted to get a sunflower seed head um, I've seen a lot of people include these into their hamster setups and I think it's a great bit of enrichment for them as well so I ordered another one of the multi-chamber hides so this is the same one that I brought for Iro. so it's the same one that I've currently got in the detox as well so I just ordered a second one so that Albus can have one too and um, he's really started loving his hides a lot more recently so I wanted to get him a nice multi-chamber hideouts to try and encourage him to sleep in here and to start burrowing down a little bit as well so I think he's really going to enjoy having that in there. Next up I ordered a few different wood pieces so first of all we have this little piece here so this is kind of like a little bowl essentially that you've got in there and I thought this would be really cute to add in I don't know if I will add it with the actual bowl 
facing out um, and then add some bits in here or if I'll turn it upside down and just have it kind of as a little stepping stone. I wanted to get a few really nice like natural wood pieces for him just to tie him with the theme and to give him a bit more kind of in his setup as well so it can be like slightly more cluttered in there hopefully if this works anyway um but so this was the first piece I got I'm really really happy with it it's lovely again this is the same thing that I've got in um Iroh's cage so this is the Bounty Paradise um and the large one that's here obviously they're all slightly different because it is natural wood so this one I think is actually a little bit wider than the one I've got in Iroh's cage which is great because obviously Albus is quite a lot bigger. Oh, hello, Albus. He's decided to pop out. Hello. Hello, Mr. Albus. You say hello to everyone. You're never out this early. You're treating us. You can hear me rustling about, can't you? Yes, all of these bits are for you, mister. Next up, I got essentially the same thing, a slightly smaller version. So the um, entrance is still large enough for a Syrian, which is fab. I thought I would get them in the two sizes so that I can kind of stagger them a little bit in the cage. Um, and again, just add a few more bits in there that are gonna really tie in nicely together. The last wood piece I got here, I decided to get him a nice big tunnel. So this again is birch and this is a lovely nice wide tunnel for him. So again this will just add another space for him to hide. I'm probably going to just go through and brush off any of the bits that are kind of hanging off and just make sure there's nothing that's going to be rough on the inside. I might have to sand down the inside here a little bit more um, but overall this looks absolutely fabulous i think he's gonna really really love this i've got these which are just like i think they're called nibble husks i i really i can't remember so i'm gonna have to pop that up on the screen of what they're called um but these again are just gonna be a little bit of enrichment to go in they are just like little wooden twigs um, which I can add in there with his sprays as well, just to add a bit more pop of colour and give him something that he can have a little bit of a nibble on as well. And then lastly, the last thing in here, I got some, part, they're like parsnip sticks. So again, that will just encourage him to chew them a little bit more. Um, and hopefully, I got these in, I got the beetroot version of these last time and he really liked those. So I'm hoping he'll like the parsnip version as well. But they both really enjoyed the ones I got last time. So I thought I would try a different uh, flavour this time. That is everything I got in my Getsu haul today. I hope you all enjoyed watching today's video. Please like, comment and subscribe down below for more hamster content and I will see you all next time. Bye!